when the first missile is being shot, nobody can control whatever uh, is going to happen. So the repercussions uh, will be uh, tragic and uh, uh, the, the results uh, will go beyond uh, the Middle East uh, into the international scene. We think we have enough wars, the world has enough uh, tragedies, and uh, the United States should not support uh, uh, such elements uh, that are destroying Syria. I know uh, uh, Secretary Kerry personally, and uh, I hope he does not go so, so far uh, in plans that will kill more Syrians. I think uh, Syria has said it will uh, be uh, ready for Geneva too. Uh, we are ready to make peace, and uh, uh, any attack against Syria will, Gene will threaten Geneva too, and uh, may result uh, in its... Uh, I mean, uh, complete annihilation because uh, Sergei Lavrov, uh, foreign minister of Russia, said that this may lead to even uh, more tragedies in Syria. And I don't want the United States to be responsible for more tragedies because uh, there are more serious issues in the Middle East. I feel sad. I feel sad for the United States. I feel sad for... Uh, uh, Secretary Colin Powell. Uh, why? Uh, because he came out later to say he apologizes because he was deceived. And I don't want uh, American lawmakers to be deceived again and to attack unnecessarily a country that is committed to making peace in the Middle East. Uh, that's fighting terrorism. That's fighting Al-Qaeda. I don't want to, the American uh, uh, the, the United States to be associated with Al-Qaeda because any attack against Syria will only help Al-Qaeda and its uh, intentions. Al-Qaeda has destroyed uh, and killed uh, civilians in the United States and we denounced Al-Qaeda uh, and its uh, attacks on the United States on the 11th of uh, September. So uh, I don't want this sad experience to be repeated again.